is the part. All right, guys, you're on to the Corey number one urban breakfast show, and I am Faye, and I'm going to be keeping it down for you on today's episode of the core. And definitely, you know what we do we bring to you issues that affect us, any one of us. We dissect it on the set, on the spot, blue set, with very knowledgeable guests who will just give us a very large explanation of whatever it is we're going to be talking about on this set. We have the magnet game show, we have the cookie dust segments, the other fun parts to the so the, uh, so the episode definitely after we definitely dissect the topic of discuss on the call and definitely today we're talking about something very interesting um i know it has been some sort of battle for a lot of people who have wanted to delve into the movie industry and today we're going to be talking about the challenges in movie production taking nigeria as a case study you know what challenges the producers face what producers the actors face to bring to us the wonderful movies that we all rush to the cinema to see so that's what we're going to be dissecting today on the call i'll go on a very short one right now and when we return we're going to be dissecting that topic as i said earlier on don't move an inch i will be right back this is the car Okay, right now, I'm going to be taking a look at um, the stories making the headlines in the front pages of our newspapers. And right now, we'll take you to the punch. On the front page, we have eight signs you're too dependent on technology. FG states LG's uh, shared 1.4. 41 trillion naira in first quarter and 100 billion naira needed to reconstruct a papa road and that's by fashola pdp shan's probe into killing of 50 rivers resident nhrc and ex-governor in release saga demands prosecution of prison officials pdp fac factions trade insult as supreme court hears appeal today sheriff's group describes mccarthy's faction as rebels and those following Sharif have been deceived and misled. And also we have NCAA stops Ethiopian Airlines deportation task, says it's illegal. And $59 billion um, dollars real project, um, Abari Bay tackles Amechi over alleged Southeast exclusion. And politicians hiring marabouts, pastors, to pray for Buhari's death. Death, wow. Okay, and UTME jump to catch exam cheats with CCTV. I say wow, though. And we also have lecturer impregnated me, rejects pregnancy, says student. Right, um, petitions against corrupt judges, CGN tells Nigerians. And um, we also have on the Daily Sun today, a number attracts $49 million investment in three years. Red alert as soldiers Boko Haram exchange fire. Certain terrorists killed, arms, vehicles recovered in Lake Chad as, fi as fighter jets pound camps. Insurgents kill seven, injure 40 in Borno. And um, traders also trying to salvage valuables after demolition of shanties and illegal structures in Okuoba Abattoir, Agege, Lagos, yesterday. Senators reject Elgi's plan for Southeast Rail, peak holes in, re in concession arrangement and judiciary under threat cjn acquire bomb gets jumbo share of 1.4 trillion our quarter one allocation state gets for 34 billion hour in three months kano 14 billion hour and lagos 19 billion hour apc has performed below expectation and that's by utomi and moving on to sports today we have champions chelsea set epl record Tottenham Liverpool grab City grab final Champions League sport and we also have indeed the secret of my EPL success peaks um, we definitely can read that there and then uh, we have Madrid secure 33rd La Liga title Ronaldo and Real hold their nerve their nerve to secure first title in five years and Arsenal 3 Everton 1 Gunners finally miss out and we have the new eagle Oyekuru takes goals hall to 24 and um, Ifai Uba thrusts three seconds 3-0 in Ibadan and that's what we have on the daily so uh, no, oh that's what we have on, on sports today and definitely we know that um, the Billboard Music Awards was held yesterday and we had Whiskey taking home three good awards for the song One Dance and definitely Drake too 
definitely Drake too. Got home and took home with him 13 good awards. Hail Whiskey, hail Drake and other fantastic people there. Drake and Nicki Minaj were definitely slaying there with your couple goals and we totally love them. We've got on another break right now and guys, we already said challenges in the movie industry, taking movie production, taking Nigeria as a kid studies, what we'll be talking about when I return from this break. Don't go nowhere, I will be right back. The um, Hollywood um, has a whole lot of suspense. It's interesting, practically not predictable. I think the graphic work, and there is actually a lot of time put into the production and the editing and all of that. You actually can predict uh, Nollywood. Once you see the first two scenes, yeah, you can most likely tell what is going to happen in the end. I still believe in those Nigerians movies than those white movies. And there's a whole lot of sense to it. But Hollywood, even though they are trying a whole lot now, but you can actually predict. You can actually say what will happen next. I'm not saying Nollywood is not good, which actually is getting better now but we have to put a little bit more effort into production because i uh, i don't want to go to a cinema and go and waste my money on something i can't predict my name is Ronis, is africa's mm. pride world's favorite comedian that's, right that's my title i like, I like international that. title you just had to you know put it all out there because i'm just that killer top five funniest comedians in nigeria that's what we're talking about right now are we good are you a comedian i'm not a comedian i just talk man Agudea is funny all right i mean basket mouth has to be my top one funniest comedian in Nigeria. Nobody one. can take that away from him. My number one comedian in yeah. the don't world. Even, don't mention yourself. Mr. Ali Baba. Well. Of Nigerian comedy. You know what I think? You know what I think? You know what I think again? You know what I think? I wait. I'm not thinking right now, but Ali Baba is number one <laughs> funniest comedian in the planet. Number one. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Uh, we have a dead man in the studio. We need to call an ambulance to take him off because my number one is Ali Baba. Basket mouth. He just woke up. Ruth Agwo is a Nigerian actress, model, and producer. She hails from Enugu State but was born and raised in Kaduna in northern Nigeria. Ruth Agwo started her career back in 2008 when she partook in the Miss Photogenic pageant and emerged as one of the finalists. In 2009, she landed one of the lead roles, Carrie, in So Wrong, So Right, a drama series that went on to win Best TV Drama of the Year. Her acting career packed momentum after this, as she featured in movies and series like Footprint, Two Sides of a Coin, Happy Family, Crossroads, Anita, A Good Enough Deed, Anger, Diana's Verdict, and an African Magic original film titled I Am Audrey. In 2015, she signed a one-year modeling contract with Airtel and has presently ventured into the field of feature production with personal effort, with movies like Upside, Up, Down, and Something Special. Ladies and gentlemen, Ruth Agbo. This is The Park. Hi right, guys, so definitely we're still talking about challenges in movie production and we're looking at Nigeria as a case study. Um, definitely, I have a very gorgeous lady with me. She started acting before she moved into production. She's still a newbie, but I mean, she's produced two movies already. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, grandmas and grandpas, everybody, wherever species you come from, you're yeah, hermaphrodite, whatever you are, but basically we have with us Ruth Agbo. Yay! How are you? Okay, thank you. And she's not pretty, she's popping. Like, oh, popping really? lily flower. <laughs> she's popping. So quickly, Ruth, I mean, one question I always want to ask, I, I've always wanted to ask you when I um, um, got this topic is, how do you balance being a producer with being an actor? Is it somewhat challenging or are they actually the same thing? Mm, well, it's not, except when you're doing, when you're acting in your movie. Yeah, you know it takes a lot. It takes a lot of challenges because you have to be doing the organizing, and then you are acting at the same time. Yeah, people are calling you. Oh, Ruth, come and do this. Uh, this is not being yeah. done. This person has not you know, done well in its own department, in his or her own, own departments, departments and yeah. stuff. They all call you. Sometimes, well, 
I won't say it's that much, especially if you hire the right people person to, know, to execute to, to whatever execute roles. whatever in their yeah. own uh, uh, various departments okay your your production manager is in your job your director is in your job and all but you are the or gap pata pata they call so, they come to you for money and yeah. stuff so but and I just provide well, well, well i don't think it's that challenging but it was a bit for me when, when i did started. mine when i started when i did yeah. my movies because it was my first time Okay, you made a lot of mistakes as you mentioned. Now, yeah, <laughs> it's all right, we all learn from mistakes. Now, moving on, I want you to talk about the movie producer. Mm -hmm. uh, one question that comes to mind again is um, being a producer, you just wake up one morning and decide, you know what, I'm just going to be a producer of a movie, of um, a song, or music, or whatever, or do you have to go through some rudiment, some sort of training? to emerge as a producer in well, whatever sphere well some people do go for trainings before they become producers or directors or whatever yeah. or even actors but there are some people who are in, who, who have it inborn as if they have it in them to, to 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 be able to control stuff to be able to head stuff for me uh, i have always dreamt of being a producer even when i was an, an actor Okay. I didn't just want to stop uh, at being as an, an actor. I wanted to do for that. I wanted to, to contribute my own quarter into the growth of the industry. Oh, I wanted my name to be heard, not mm -hmm. just you know, yes, I got an, <laughs> no, to be heard, not just for being an actor, but for someone who is you know contributing greatly as a producer, as producing something very good, you know that people would love to watch. Yeah, and all. So that yeah. took you like how many? What, what, what yes, was it? What was the yeah? From I acted into production. Yes. Um, I remember I wanted to to produce a long time ago before acting. Not before acting. After, after acting. acting. Okay. I I would try to source for fun. It was very difficult. Sourcing for fun was very very difficult. We'll come to that, yeah. Let's just hold that because I know that's a lot of talk. But we'll come to that. <laughs> you know, it was it was difficult. I tried as much as I can. It took me a long while before I was able to you know get funds to yeah. produce my yeah, movie. films. Yeah. But lately, now that you've transitioned into production, to how has it been? Is the journey very? Is it something you want to do of for a longer period? Would you also want to transition into direct um, directing too? Yes, because yes, I see yes, a lot of people yes, doing yes, you know yes, acting, yes, producing, I, I and directing. To do that, but I would have to study to do that. Okay, you know. Directing is not as not beans. you know, you know, it's not beans at all. <laughs> okay. okay, so um, you definitely want to transition into that. I, de I definitely want to transition into that. Um, what was the question again? Please? That's fine. You already answered my question. <laughs> the other one I'm going to ask you is now you're an independent producer. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to ask you one thing. You answer that when I just finish this. Why did you want to become an independent producer? Because I know we have production bodies. Why didn't you join one? Is that is that a platform for you to join one? Why did you become an independent producer? And as an independent producer, what do I have to do? Or what does Ruth have to do as a producer to um, get sponsors on board for a movie she's producing? I know it's one thing for you to just produce the movie but sometimes you need people to come on board now what do you have to do as a producer to put, to get sponsorship well um it takes a lot to be uh, to be a producer not to talk of being an independent producer mm -hmm. uh, i know there are bodies where you can produce you know you can you know you know get you you can join you know yeah. some kind of uh, companies and be producers for yeah. them and all that you can be a producer for them and all okay. that but me i did of course i did not have um, any form of um, um training per okay. se yeah it was just something i just said okay i think i can do it people when they do producing they, they don't have two heads so yeah i have I, I think i can do what this they are doing create you know. that so fire. um it took a, 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 a lot for me to become this independent producer that i am now because Sourcing for fun, like I said, was very difficult. You keep having on that, but yes. I wasn't <laughs> it was, But all you need is just um, the will to want to do so, and and, and everything just, will just fall in place. Everything will just fall in for place. For you, what has been the major challenge um, being an independent producer? And how do you get to earn a living doing this? Or do you have other things by the side? Yeah, I have other things by the side. I do. I sell. I don't want to start. No, it's like, your market. Tell your market. I don't want to just juggle into that now. But let's okay. you, there are other things I do that like that you know helps to But source. how profitable is it to be an yeah. independent producer? Yeah, it is. Uh, well, I've not sold my movie yet, so I wouldn't know how profitable it's going to be. But I believe with what I have, I'll be able to get something out of it. I think it's profitable. I think people should uh, people should take that 
take the horn by the, I mean, take the, the bull by the horn. horn. Yeah, you know, and venture into it. If you, you don't need to be to be fearful. You don't need to be scared. Just venture into it. There's something is is positive. Yeah. Yes. So, do, so if I wake up one morning and decide to be a producer. It's fine. I'm going to earn money by it. Maybe I put it. No, you well, I can't just, just, money. You can't just, you can't just, uh, you can't just wake up one morning and say you want to produce and you just Why? produce a movie. Why? Some people just wake up and they're, oh, dreamland. I had a dream that I want to do researches. You have to do research like I did. Okay. I did some research. I had, I had mentors, you know, th that are already in the business and all that. Even when, I remember meeting um, one of my mentors, Mr. Ifanye Zekwe. You know, okay. I met him and he put me through a lot of rudiments. He put me through a lot of stuffs. I um, I learned a lot from him. Okay. I learned a lot from his mistakes because him mm -hmm. too have produced. He has won. He has failed in his mm -hmm. various productions. Yeah. I, you know, I was able to pick some one or two things, even though I still venture into mine and I made some few mistakes. mistakes but which you're going to mention. Yes, it wouldn't have been as much as what he did you know, uh, yes because of course i learned because before you become so you need to you need to have mentors you need to have people already in the game you need to you, you know research more but you can't just wake up one morning and say ah jump i want to become a producer <laughs> then you bring money and then you you yeah. go and produce a film mm -hmm. <laughs> you produce just a lot more you bring a glorified flop you understand <laughs> you're going to produce rubbish because uh, you, 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 when you want to produce you need to know that you're going to get your script right you know, before you produce a good film, yeah. you must know that your scripting is very, very Coming good. Coming to that script writing mm -hmm. to the... Right. Okay. <laughs> All right. So that's, that's definitely a very, very good one. Guys, you just know to, you need to know the rudiments and definitely have mentors too, as she mentioned. I mean, whatever sphere you are in, I think you should always have mentors that you look up to. Now, and as an, as an independent um, producer, again, there's um, a question I want to ask. I know that years back, it was actors I used to get celebrated when mm -hmm. it came to our award ceremony. Mm -hmm. When I had categories for, you know, best producer in a comedy series or something and something mm -hmm. and something are you a firm believer that awards are um show a test of how good you are in your craft um during your journey into acting and production have you won any awards but generally do you feel like you know once i get an award tomorrow okay i think i'm good well um about the course of my because I, I like i said i've been i've not been okay <laughs> I, I thought i was be, behind the scene we're talking about you know um, stuff that I've done and blah blah blah. Yeah. Like I said, I've not um, been very consistent. Very consistent. I've not been regular with this um, product uh, with the acting thing. Yeah. So I wouldn't say I have won any any award. I've not won any award in acting. Yeah. For producing, I am hoping that one day I'm going to win an award. And if I do, it won't just be. They won't say oh. Because I've won an award, I've arrived. <laughs> I have not arrived. I'm sure that when I win that award, it will be, it will be, what am I going to call it now? What word do I use? Brain fart, it happens. Whatever. <laughs> it will be something that will push me up to even do to more, more. To achieve more. Because uh, the sky is just not uh, my limit. Who says the sky is your limit? You'll just be shooting and be going. Just your starting just point. Be just your start you'll just be going and be going and be doing great things, great stuff. I plan to do all that. I plan to do movies that win awards for me. Yeah, that's great. That's a great one. Now, looking at production in Nigeria and production in Hollywood, as we were talking before we started this, um, can you do a bit of a comparison right right, right now? I know that production has, to me as a lay person, production has definitely gotten better. I was mentioning to you that in our cinemas, people actually rush to watch Nigerian movies now. Now, um, you said there's still a struggle in mm -hmm. terms of production. So maybe mm -hmm. you should just list them here. And um, after that, I'll have you mention the mistakes you made while you were in that production journey. But yeah, just go on. <laughs> okay, um, comparison. <laughs> yeah. we, uh, we're growing, we're growing, we're growing. We're, we're not where we used to be years back you know nollywood is rebranding you know it's obvious people are seeing people cinema culture is cultivated already definitely you know, people are going to the cinemas and say ah i want to watch a car first ah, well, yeah. i want to watch wedding party ah, i want to watch this i want to watch that you know formerly in those days when you go to the cinemas people watch only american films nigerian True. movies oh, <laughs> i know how it's going to end <laughs> yeah. rubbish you understand what i'm saying mm -hmm. but now nigerians are trying we the the, the producers and actors were doing well um but still, there's still a very huge gap between the American <coughs> industry, movie industry, and the Nigerian movie industry. This gap is none other, none other, because we can match up to them. We have, we have the talent to match up. 
whether actors, whether directors, whether producers, we have the talents to match up to, yeah. to them. The only challenge that is the huge gap between us is funding. Okay, so we're going to hold that thought. I just wanted to pause. And anyway, so we'll tackle that funding very well. So guys, definitely, I hope you've been enjoying this conversation with Ruth. I will go on a very quick break right now. When we return, the Magnet Game Show is going to pop up. We have a game show for you. I hope you're ready. No, no. Okay. <laughs> Whether I'm ready or not, we'll be right back, guys. Take it away. No, make you retire. I mean, no stay for home to control country. It's not about one person. Buari and Oshibajo contested and won an election. Buari is not dead, he's alive, he's there. Oshibajo is there working. The ministers are there working. So the government is working. So it's not the question of retiring doesn't come up. No, I did not support somebody being at home working, a whole president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. It is very, very uncomfortable. If you know he's not capable, the head cannot be able to carry him. Let him resign. To, the, to my own point of knowledge, you understand? There's no crisis anywhere, yeah, you understand? In Lagos, precisely where we are, you know, where we are. You understand? The allocation has been, you know, been given. I think the president should continue since he's a tenor until the tenor is over. This is the car. Hey, so right now, moving on to the magnet game show. Ruth, are we ready? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yay. So let's go. So, yeah, in three to one, an action. New DT. Hmm. Nudity. Yeah, Second. Nudity. <laughs> Sleep. Abba. Abba. Abba International Market. Abia State. The wedding party. <laughs> Moabudu. Ramsinoa. Half cars fine boy. RMD. No right. <laughs> Cute dark chocolate. <laughs> handsome. <laughs> tall. <laughs> the Johnsons. <laughs> the Johnsons. Um I can popo. Mm-mm. <laughs> Where is it Popo Aki? One of I them. I don't know. Then. It's one of them. Apostle must hear of this. Apostle must hear of this. Eh. Apostle Sulema. <laughs> Genevieve Naji. Oh, beautiful. Are they swear to me? Oh, breathtaking, beautiful. Amani Opoli. Mm. Beautiful, talented, and. Okay, and rich. <laughs> okay, Akindele. Very funny, beautiful, and successful. Successful. Okay. Piracy. Ah, oh, piracy, Alabama market. <laughs> Action films. <laughs> Action films. Action films. Woo! Woo! Wait for <laughs> Stephanie Otobo. <laughs> Stephanie Otobo. Stephanie Otobo. Who is yes. Stephanie Otobo? Apostle Solomon, Stephanie Otobo. Oh, really? I don't know her name. Oh. Her son name. I know her name is Stephanie, but I don't know her son name. Okay, so Stephanie Otobo. Mm -mm. You don't have anything for her? Oh. <laughs> Nudity, um, it's okay. <laughs> Kuli you are looking for money. <laughs> Kuli Afalaya, great producer. AMVCA, mm. award winning. No. Domestic violence. Hmm? Domestic violence. Men. Sex tape. Kim. Pole dancer. <laughs> <laughs> Pole dancer. Black China. Ron's girls. Hmm. <laughs> Lagos. <laughs> Heartbreaker. Heartbreaker. Hmm. Boys. The robot demon. Yeah. Um, I don't know that word. <laughs> you don't know that word. You don't know that word. You're about hot guys. That's what we call it. Oh, them. really? But she definitely did well on the Magnet Game Show, guys. Let's rate her. Over 100. I'll probably give her a 40%. That's nice to know, she. Or is not? <laughs> and we'll go on a short one, guys. And when we return, we continue with the topic of discuss today. Challenges in movie production in Nigeria as a case study. We'll be right back. This is the part. Um, Hollywood um, has a whole lot of suspense. It's interesting, practically not predictable. I think... The graphic work, 
and there is actually a lot of time put into the production and the editing and all of that you actually can predict uh, nollywood once you see the first two scenes yeah you can most likely tell what is going to happen in the hand i still believe in those nigerians movie than those white movie. and there's a whole lot of sense to it but hollywood even though they are trying a whole lot now but you can actually predict you can actually say what will happen next i'm not saying nollywood is not good which actually is getting better now but we have to put a little bit more effort into production because i i don't want to go to a cinema and go and waste my money on something i can't predict no i don't for the pga i prefer to be on the fence i, I don't have a problem with it but most chicks actually do I had the experience of doing it once and it turned out to be something I should never have even done in the first place. I've never, I never one have tried something crazy with me outside. A madman having sex with a lady outside, like on the streets. When my friend's boyfriend proposed to her right in front of Akata Oster, that's in Yabatek. Yes, I don't feel that's right. Okay, guys, you're still on to the Koi number one urban breakfast show. And before we went on the Magnet Game Show, she definitely mentioned a very valid point the challenge that most movie producers face in Nigeria, which is funding. So, yes, just take it away because I know you have bent in this, a lot of fire in you. So, yeah, just tell us. Okay, um, like I said, funding is the major cause of yeah. whatever, whatever you know, gap we have yeah. between uh, the Nollywood industry and Hollywood. <laughs> In a, in, a, in a Hollywood film, at yeah. least, let me just say, in a Hollywood film where they use $200 million to shoot, <laughs> can you compare it with a movie that has been shot with 10 million naira still? Mm -hmm. They are not comparable. Yeah. They say Nigerians, you know, have uh, problems with their stories. They don't do researches, you know, before, you we know, you know, produce before we produce movies. films, that our scripts are whack, our stories are bad, blah, blah. I don't think. I don't think so. Okay. I think. Are you saying you all are, of our stories are good? I'm sure there are no, some bad eggs. There are some bad eggs and there are some good ones. And yeah. the bad eggs are making those errors not because they can't do good ones, but because they don't have the resources to do, you know, stuffs that are good. Okay. For instance, you have five million naira you borrowed from one Alaba man, mm. and said, "Sorry, permit me from say, <laughs> for saying it's that." <laughs> You know, five million naira, and they tell you you are going to give back that money in six months, six months time, or yeah. in three months time. You don't have the time to do what we call um, f script conference. Okay. Script conference is where you where you whereby is a, is a process you 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 undergo where you, whereby you call for for meeting. You call people uh, professionals. Sorry. Yeah. Professionals to scrutinize your scripts to tell you these are the these flops these are the flops this, this can go this will sell this won't sell yeah. before you can have your master copy of okay. your script for a for a good film to sell you need a very good story you need a very good script mm -hmm. if you have if you don't have a very good good script you are going nowhere even if you have plenty of money so when you have a good script, okay. how do you go about funding when you have a good script now at the end of the day, you don't have money to execute it. You don't have money to rent a good camera. You don't have money to pay good actors. You don't have money to, to do all these things, you know. How is your production going to come out nicely? Mm -hmm. If you want to show them, to, if you want to show your movie in the cinema, you have standards, you know. For instance, people who are, okay now, if you meet individuals, because it is very certain that governments, are not supporting us corporate bodies are not supporting us why are they not supporting you mentioned something earlier about jonathan investing yes um at your I, point I, I mentioned something earlier to you that yes we had no support we had little or no support from government until the good luck jonathan regime where he um, allocated three million no three billion dollars to dollars, the industry, not, not billion, not dollars. Sorry, <gasps> to, to no, three, that's, three that's billion, huge. three billion naira. Yes, yeah. into the industry, um, 
through um, bank of industry but accessing those funds are difficult you know the collectors they are telling you to to have in place it thinks yeah. the, the the do's and don'ts before you can get the this phone assess this phone size so high that um if your movie come make mistake no <laughs> sell <laughs> you can go and hang yourself <laughs> and die so basically so they give you basically, the phone you can't even assess the phone so people, you, wow. I, i've not seen any producer who has said ah, i got this money from bank of industry, industry. i think i heard that a few did those days but people are no longer right. doing it. people are not even interested because people are not even of... interested you know wow. because there's a lot of you know you can't it's not easy to assess you know so people are not even going that way corporate bodies like me <laughs> i try to look like i said okay you are asking me yeah. yeah. you are in the, you are in the yeah. funding uh, segments now so i'm going to tell you how <laughs> long it took for me to to you know, get to funds, get funds, funds yeah. you know of course i didn't get fund mm. i was able to save money over the years to do my film yeah. i tried getting funds because i wanted to do a big budget film i had you know i had a story crazy that execution i had a very good story that five million naira, ten million naira cannot shoot wow you know i tried getting because uh, of course i've not done anything before mm -hmm. you know it was, it was difficult for me to to source yeah. for funds but apparently I you writing, able to save yes, money i was writing proposals you know i even wrote a proposal to kenes i'm sure Watch, didn't nothing get, happened i'm sure i didn't get to the so we just got the reception his desk yes <laughs> hey, I didn't get to so, all that so i said to root you have to start from small they yeah. said uh, in nigeria they, they start from small let me start from small you know yeah you know put some things together and produce my film then okay. over the years i'll be Stepping yeah. up and stepping up until I get you know, a, until yeah. I get to to where I want to to be. So piracy is another thing. We see balls down. To How did you know that was my next question, though? <laughs> <laughs> piracy, piracy. Shout out to Alaba International Film Market. Well, okay, <laughs> piracy. That can be you know in every part of the world they deal with piracy even in america there's yeah. piracy you can never i think as a plot there's a bit yes. of curtailing it yes maybe of that's course. what they do yes you can uh, can you eradicate piracy no but mm -hmm. you can reduce it to the barest minimum you can reduce it if government puts in laws strong laws you know a lot of people are laws not have laws not been made laws have been made but they are not so strong mm. people can bribe their way out mm. you know our country is corrupt people can you know <laughs> and say ah, take this yeah so that, so that uh, you, they won't be penalized and stuff yeah so if the government can come with full force because this industry in association with producers it grosses an estimated amount of 200 million dollars wow a year wow because i read that That's in 2005 that nollywood that is now the second largest um, uh, uh, movie, uh, movie industry, uh, industry uh, in terms of production yeah. is um is it produces 50 films <laughs> let me not say yeah. films every week yeah uh, let me just let me know you know it's no more you know, it's not more <laughs> yeah every week so calculate it now wow you understand it's a lot of money it's a lot of money that. in 12 in, in 30 uh, in, in 30 uh, days times 12 you know how much people are, uh, that's are making money. that's huge that's huge so it's a lot to those yes, it, it does a lot for our economy if governments can you know look into that aspect everything is not agriculture because mm. <laughs> like i will always say thank god i have the platform let me digress yeah well that's true mm -hmm. that's true that's true <laughs> <laughs> no, it's to say, uh, agriculture this agriculture it's not only agriculture that can make us make money that can make us money that can grow our economy movie industry, industry too can grow our economy that. now we're talking leaving the, okay yeah, talking about the movie industry i'm just going to chip in a question now producers mm. is there an association i was i remember watching the um, video of the nec meeting yes um, there was a lot of battle between um you know somebody and another person i'm not going to mention is but are there associations for producers in nigeria and how functional are they to tackle issues in terms of production reproduction in nigeria well the associations of, of movie producers also associations for directors and um hmm. They have tried their best but because they are not like there is not there is no national body you know, a recognize is not as he's not held 
high in high esteem, Same. just like the Nigerian Bar Association, MBA, yeah. or the Medical Association, oh, whatever, okay. whatever, or, yeah. and so on and so forth. You know, they don't hold them in high esteem like that, so they don't do much. Mm. They don't do much. But if you don't do much, and how 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 do you expect to make that change? Are we? Are, are, That's why. Are you saying the association has to wait on the government, or can they just take the bull by the horn, as you say? Well, they are trying their best, great. but they, they also need and support the from the is, government. Is they great. need support from the government. They need support from the government. Are you part of an association? I'm not part of an association. That was the battle between those two people. Mm -hmm. So this is me being part of the association with you, not being part of the association. Why why aren't you part of the association, by the way? Mm, well, I don't know because I feel the association is biased I beg go let them not come out here. I said I did not say anything you just you understand. said it yeah. <laughs> right, all right. Anyway, no. I, I plan to join the association and soon. maybe create that change maybe yes. put more creative yes, ideas yes, because, because you can't through. expect a change if you are outside and talking yeah definitely and you don't definitely. join something and you know, I'm just starting, so yeah. of course With I'm time, going to join. Yes, join. I'm yes. going to put you on the spot quickly. As a producer of movies, um, we know that Africa is a very conservative society, even though things are somewhat changing. I mean, I think Nigerians are still trying in terms of conserving our bodies and the like. So as a producer, have you ever for once thought of um, producing a movie that has to do with nudity? And uh, well, hold on. <laughs> we need it to see. It sells a lot. Trust me. I, I I googled. I googled, and I saw a producer who had pictures of women on, you know, bra. Their breasts were out. I didn't know. And all that. Yeah. So it mm. definitely sells. Mm. So yes. Um. Have you for once ever thought that you know you want to produce a movie that has to do with nudity? Never. And have you ever been offered something to act in a movie that promotes nudity? And how did you tackle it? Okay. Number one question. To, mm -hmm. I want to answer to your question. Yeah. I have never thought of producing a movie that has, that has to do to with nudity. Now, okay. Because Why? I am a Christian and we are in Africa. Okay. And I'm, I'm going to tell you that it doesn't sell as much as you think. Okay. It doesn't at all because okay. of the part of country we are from. In Africa, not even country. Of course, country. And again, because of the continent we're from, they don't, you know, propagate nudity. They feel it's indecent, and I buy into it. Mm -hmm. you, you can pass your message without being nude. So what about those who actually produce movies that promote nudity? What's well, your take on that? Well, that's the... In own, Nigeria, do, because we have a couple of... Yes, that's their own that. business. That's their own business. I don't care <laughs> for them. But mm -hmm. for me, I know I cannot produce a film that has, that, that, has, that has to do with nudity. But even if you do... There's a way you do it. Because Nigerians, we don't know how to do it. <laughs> you know, we don't know how to do yeah, it. That's, 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 we don't have to be very specific. When you say you don't know how to do it, it brings, it brings another meaning. No, so because we're trying to copy... <laughs> the Oyimbo people. Yeah. But we don't know how to do it like they do. You can watch a nude scene in a an American film and you won't see it as gross. You won't see yeah. it as bad. But you watch a nude... Well, we're putting it to the face of a, of a producer know. right now. When he eventually wants to do something that has to do with nudity, do it well so we don't yes. have to throw up yes. watching yes. it. Yes, do it well. Even if you want to do it, do it well. Yeah. Yes. Well, I'm not saying um, that it is that bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, change <laughs> the <laughs> you know that, you know that bad, is bad for me. I won't do it. Okay. As a Christian, you you won't do it. I will do it. She won't do it. And she again, I have been offered to do a nude um, movie. That's the second question. Yeah, but I rejected it. And that time I was just starting. You know, and I just said, ah, this thing will blow me. Make I do it. But I rejected. It. I said, mm. I said, hey, ten years from now, five years from now, if I, if I give birth and my my daughter my is watching on my child, what, what am I going to mm -hmm. say? I was doing then. You yeah. understand? Mm -hmm. It was bad. And another girl took that role in place of me, but. Lo and behold, my dear sister in the Lord. She's still? She's still where she is. Okay, she you heard it already, guys. She's still where she is. Just hold on to your beliefs. She is talking from a religious angle and definitely the decadence that goes on in the African society and the Nigerian society. So, guys, we're on another break right now. When we return, we have more to come. The Cookie Jar segment is coming up, by the way. That's another game show. You don't want to miss this, guys. We'll be right back. Okay, so Ruth is ready for the cookie jar segment. She's pretty hungry, by the way, so I kind of beat her that she'll probably finish all the cookies in the jar. But yeah, let's just start. Um, so you just pick up, pick a paper right now, and then you read. <laughs> you can't provide an answer. You eat two cookies, as I said. So let's read that out. Read it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. What is your major weakness? Aka Mumu Button. <laughs> My major weakness. Omo. This one I know if you talk out. Okay, so <laughs> two cookies. There you go. I'm first question. I already chop your cookies. Just eat two cookies already. Oh my god. <laughs> oh! Yes, mm. so you pick another one. Now mm. while you're chewing, <laughs> you just read out that one mm. too. <laughs> what is the last thing you lied about? What's the last thing you lied about? Okay. What did I lie about? Hmm. Don't ask me. I wasn't there with you. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Okay. Last thing. That is not good though. Yes. What's the last thing you lied about? You don't have an answer to that. I have an answer. I lied. Okay. We lied Sometime. about what? Sometimes. Yeah. I lied I'm about what? Remember. I lied about... Okay. I lied about a place I was that I wasn't. That's something we all lie about, but I'll just, <laughs> I'll just let it pass, though. We all we always we always lie about that. I, I still lied about that yesterday. Oh, I'll just really? another one. Okay. Yes. Mm. Okay. Mm, this one we've answered this one. No, well, no there's no answer to this one. No, no, no. We have to read it out. You already picked it. You have to read it. Oh out. my god, it's what's your major weakness? Aka Mumu, but it's the okay. same thing. Okay. I have. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. Okay. What's your take on homosexuality? Yeah. Hmm. I hate it. Like, have you One ever word. done it before? No. <laughs> I'm not planning on doing because it. Because I say you hate it, like you've expressed it. So. No, I hate it. Okay. Especially for the male. The male. What's the difference between a guy and a girl? Well, for me, I think a girl is kind of. I don't know. Let me not talk. Oh. Ah, don't talk. Say that. <laughs> don't talk. Don't talk. Don't but it's not as gross as a guy kissing a guy. I didn't ever kiss then I, when I was when I was in school. Mm -hmm. I had this lecturer that told me it's not bad if uh, banana and banana squeeze each other like the soft body, soft body. But imagine stone and stone, <laughs> man with beer beer kissing another man with beer beer. Ha! Ah, come on now, it's very bad. Your lecturer do banana and banana soft body. Oh, really? It's bad. <laughs> okay, so that's I'm telling you. We no. get it. It's not good. Though. Motivational speaker. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> not that one. All right. <laughs> Would you rather have hiccups for the rest of your life or feel like you need to sneeze and not be able to for the rest of your life? Okay, so I don't get. Would you, Would rather, you rather have hiccups for the rest of your life mm -hmm. or feel like you need to sneeze? sneeze and you don't sneeze, you don't sneeze. Do you, ah. know, do you know that feeling? When you want to sneeze, yes, but it's not coming yes. out. Yes. So which would you prefer? The second. Hiccups is very bad. I hate it. <laughs> so you rather just like, hold like, your scissors to your system. Like, can I try it? No, please don't. That's gross. Can I, That's gross. Can I? You can't. <laughs> do, not, do not do that. <laughs> <laughs> Describe yourself in one word. She's flipping her hair like, I'm beautiful. Like, you know, I was going oh, to say. Oh, she's beautiful. I'm beautiful. <laughs> like, I'm trying to... To say I'm praising myself for what God has beautifully created me. Wow, yes, God she has already said you're beautiful. Be beautifully created everyone. Everybody's beautiful. Okay, so I'm beautiful. Yeah, and I'm beautiful. I'm too. truthful. You just said one word. It's okay. Because oh, one word. Oh, yes. one word. One oh, word. God, I wanted to say many things okay. because I'm many things. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tell us your last most embarrassing Google search. I can't remember that. Okay, so two cookies. There you go. I like the fact that you're so you're so into the cookies. Like you're not even withdrawing. You're very mm. hungry, Shay. Mm. Yeah, another one. The last one you're picking. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Why did you pause that? <laughs> it's okay. Just can you date somebody younger than you? Yeah. Of course. Oh. If the person is mature, matured enough. Okay. Mm, and has all the attributes yeah. I desire in your man. Yeah. It mustn't be smallish in nature. It shouldn't be smallish in nature. Because if it's smallish, it remind me that you are younger. <laughs> mm. So for guys out there, are you single? I'm single. So for guys out there who her, you know, have their eyes on her, she's single, she's searching, but don't be smallish in nature. And don't be small in other parts too. Let me just add that to it. Truly. Yeah, truly. Necessary. Preach this stuff. Yeah, preach it. That is the <laughs> that is the cocoa. <laughs> that is the cocoa. <laughs> All right, guys, we go on another short one, and when we return, we have more to come. Still on the coin, number one urban breakfast show. Rose, take it five. You did well. Thank we'll you. Right back, guys.
the park. This service is ah, it's a three in one combination. Everybody say three in one combination. Three in one combination. Woo! First offering, the second offering, the third bountiful offering. Yeah, you have 20 naira here, yeah, you have 20 naira here, yeah, you already know where the 20 naira is. Brother, God bless you. Where's the, where's the second order? Because when I pray for you, you do not come to church. Brother, I want friend time. Jesus! No, 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 so you go give your friend. Night toilet! <laughs> Okay, so uh, she's still chewing her cookie. Is it done? Are you done with that? Because we have another. I don't want my teeth. <laughs> we have another segment coming up, guys. We're moving when straight I'm on to the. I'm seeing cookies in my mouth. <laughs> so the now and then segment. So we were talking movie production. The challenge is movie production. Did we have any? What was production like years back? You know, in terms of movies, how many people produce movies in a week compared to now, and how how um what's what's the word how. How, how bring me that word? How good were those movies produced then? How beautiful? What was the acceptance like then as compared to now? Okay, then as compared to now, I think the picture quality is, has upgraded. Okay. Um, in terms of stories, we had pretty good stories back then, more than now. Just that they were undershot. Okay. You know? Back then, we used to have better actors than now. Now, actors we have now are not so good. You just threw a shade, girl. But it's fine, go on. <laughs> yes, it's the truth. There are some actors we've not been able to replace mm. now. You know, most of our actors now, the, especially the male actors. Yeah. Most of them are fine boy. They only care about their physical appearance. They don't, don't you care, care about, about your physical appearance as mm? a lady? Don't you of care about Of course I do. But so why should you they have to, care about No, you, they should care, but not mm. just that. Okay. You so you think that it just it just focuses on yes, I think they and and most of them are known now. They they can call themselves stars, but they are not that good. You understand? Okay. You know. Wow. Mm. Wow, girl. <laughs> so in terms again of production, um, now you were mentioning then that um, right right now who produced fifty movies in a week how was um the number of movies being produced then? You know, say in a week, did we have like one movie? Because I remember Masquerade. I don't know if you mm. used to watch. Yeah, so those type of movies then, with the comic feel that they had, there was also a message to be passed across. Do we have the same thing right now for movies? in um, Right now, movies that we shoot right now? Well, uh, for The Masquerade, almost, I don't think we have anything like that right now on TV, yeah. except theatre art and our stage plays and, the stage plays and okay. all that, and the likes of them. But on television, we've not had something as that successful. Even though then there was no money, yeah. as much as it is, yeah. as much as there is money, money now, right now, but they were doing it with passion. Because yeah. back then they used to have actors and producers and people who love what they do and they do it wholeheartedly. But now Nigeria is very hard. People don't do stuff only because of the money. Of course, you need to eat from where you're working from. Sure. And it is very frustrating when you do stuff and you don't eat from it. People now see actors producers and people who don't do real jobs of course this is what we do for a living this is what we love this is our job is real yeah and also it is good for you to do stuff with passion but it is also good for you to make money from what you're doing because in america their work they make money plenty money they are the richest yeah you know they make a lot of money and we, we, we don't it's very painful that we don't we don't make as much as even quarter what they make there all because we don't have support. Support funding. No now, support where system. do you see the Nigerian movie industry in, um, say, five years to come? Nigerian movie if industry. you were supposed to join an association now, what would be your quota, your added quota to production in Nigeria, basically? Mm. Nigerian movie industry in the next five years, I, I think it's going to go. Okay. I think it's going to go because people are beginning to love Nigerian movies. 
the, the people are beginning to cultivate the cinema culture. Yeah. People are, be, are beginning to produce good films, good yeah. stories. Yeah. Good cinematography. Okay. Good everything. Okay, so understand? quickly, if you are supposed to join an association, we have 30 seconds. If I'm supposed to join an association, I would join, okay, of course, of course a pro yeah. uh, maybe an actor's guild. No, I think I would join an um, association of movie uh, producers, producers because I want okay. to be one of the people who would make things right. Yeah. But, you know, people who would put laws and make sure all these things that we've spoken over this over actually this segment executed. are actually and executed. duly executed. All right, guys, you've heard it from Ruth. She definitely has her own quota to be contributed to the Nigerian movie industry as a producer, as an actor, too. She's not bad like that. Producer, <laughs> actor, whatever. So, guys, we'll go on another break. And when we return, we have more to come. WC woman crush when so man crush woman crush and definitely we have the versus segment coming up i want to know what roach has for us and also what i have for her and then afterwards we kick out off our set so guys we'll be right back it's still the core number one urban breakfast show <laughs> Okay, so as I said earlier, and I'm definitely going to be asking Ruth other questions, but hey, no game show right now. So just ease yourself. We just want to know more about you. So who's your man crush and who's your woman crush? My yeah, woman <laughs> crush. Okay, man crush. Yeah, man crush. Let's start with the men. We really have man crush in Nigeria. I just mentioned. It was small. With all the fine guys we have in Nigeria, you don't have one man crush. Okay. Let me tell you my man crush. Okay. Links. Uh. He be my fine, 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 baby, yeah. <laughs> fine, 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 baby. Okay. Why do you like Lynx, by the way? Because he's, he's turned born again. But before he turned born again, I think I like his person. So now, yeah. I like he, He's good looking. I like his physique. And he's tall. Yeah, yes, girl. you know what I'm saying. You know I what I'm know saying? what you say. <laughs> okay. So, and your woman crush. My woman crush is, um, I don't want to say Genevieve because that's, that's what everybody will be saying. Genevieve, every time Genevieve, Genevieve. Oh, about I love Genevieve. <laughs> in fact, in fact, let me tell you, Genevieve is my number one woman crush. Uh, why is she a woman crush? I don't know. I just naturally like her. I don't know her in person, whether she's bad or good. Never met her before. I have met her when um, she was having. Um, there was she. They, they had a birthday in their house. Okay. Uh, for their elder sister, I was with with her brother. So I didn't. I just got You're introduced smiling, to. Though, was I just. That, I just. Something I just. I just got. No, there wasn't. It was just. Well, you were smiling. We're, we're just, no, we were just friends. Question. No, not nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Okay. So we just got introduced. Oh, Ruth. Ah, yeah. fan. I'm your fan. Okay. You know, <laughs> blah blah. And all. Oh, she looks so beautiful, yes, so well. elegant, and also, I like her talent. Yeah. She's very talented. I like her. I don't know her, but I like her. So if you were supposed to see, have you met Lynx before? No, no, I have not. If you met, if you saw Lynx right now, what would you do? I've seen him, but I did not see anything. So if Lynx popped into the studio right now, you wouldn't do anything? Ah, uh, I would introduce, uh, of course, I would talk to him. Talk, just talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> You're blushing. <laughs> you would not just talk to him. We I would have met him. We would have just come and say, Lynx, like all those um, girls would do. Yeah, but you won't, I mean, you won't, you won't do that. I don't, I'm shy. I'm a shy person. I don't. I would so just, you can just talk right now, but when you see him, you just. I'm just. Shy. I'm, the, I'm that kind of person. I don't know how to meet somebody. Up. I, I can just, just go crazy. Can, if you were close like this, I would talk to him. I yeah. say, okay, I'm your fan. Yeah. I like you, but I can't just see lengths and walk up to him and start farming him. Yeah, I don't know how to farm. So that's <laughs> my major problem. <laughs> All right, so there's something called. Yeah, guys, you heard it. It's definitely lengths. And then Genevieve Inaji. Shout out to Genevieve Inaji. I adore you every day and every time, by the way. She's also my woman crush. Really? Yay! Yay! <laughs> okay, so moving on, there's another segment called Versus, okay. right? So we look, we pitch two people against each other. So we know Uti, mm. and we know Alex o Okubo. 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 Yes, so Okubo. So, Link, uh, Okubo. Is it Okubo or Okubo? Okubo, I mean. Okubo. Anyway. <laughs> so, okay. so we have Uti and then Alex Okubo. Mm. So who would you pick? Okubo! Ah! <laughs> we have Okubo. So who would you pick? Who would you ditch? Um, I'll pick Uti because it's dark and tall. I like dark people. So wait, um, based on what you just said, you're picking them based on the fact that you're light-skinned and you don't want to probably date a guy who's light-skinned because that's what I see here. 
No, really. I'm because you just mentioned light skin. I'm because I'm light skin. I'm only more light skin as you mean. It's not because I'm light skin. It's okay. because I prefer dark guys than fair guys. It's the same thing as me. <laughs> this is a personal <laughs> thing. If I was a dark girl, yeah. I would still prefer dark guys. I won't. Except if they say make I go marry or make I pick a fair guy because I'm too dark so that our children will not be charcoal. The same thing we just said. You're yeah, looking at the future with one of them. So apart from the looks, talent-wise, who would you go for? Or you still go for Uti? Talent-wise, I think um, um, Okubo is better than Uti. When it comes to acting, no. Just acting. But when it comes to presenting and everything, I think Uti tops. I think we're supposed to choose Complete. based on talent. You definitely choose Alex. In fact, I'll choose Uti. You're confused. Mm -hmm. Very, very, very I'll choose Uti. You know I say? I'll but why I leave you in this country? Uti wasn't talented. He yeah. wouldn't have won Big Brother. Mm -hmm. You know? And mm -hmm. he has, you know? And he has money too. And he's <laughs> dark skinned. I'm sure he's tall in other parts. <laughs> so, yes, right now, while I leave you in that confused state of whether you're going to pick Uti or Alex, I'm going to say a very big thank you. This is where I get to send you off my studio. Oh, yes. I didn't know stay. Yeah, you'll stay. I'm talking more. Okay, now you can <laughs> talk <you> more. <laughs> for right now, uh, I'd like to say a very big thank you. I've definitely been inspired. And I, mm. I would definitely say this. You're definitely going to go places. It's Amen. very good. I saw your onions. So, yeah, let's just look forward to see what Ruth has for us in terms of production and acting too. So, thank you for very much for coming and mwah, mwah, mwah. we love you're you welcome. guys you're we'll welcome, go on another break and when we return i'll be kicking myself off the studio while ruth leaves us right now please don't go anywhere we'll be right back this is the car Okay, it's definitely been a very fun conversation with Ruth Agbo, you know, she's she definitely knows our onions, I'll give that to her. And one thing I definitely picked from this is we can't uh, make money from just one stream of income, which is agriculture. The movie industry definitely has its, its potential to give us billions. Of we never know, maybe trillions of dollars or pounds sterling or naira um, to better the economy. So um, the government, the corporate bodies, personal bodies, wherever you are, if you think that you have the funds to fund the uh, movie industry in Nigeria, please just do such. And I'm also thinking of going to act myself. So shout out. You're going to be seeing me in your screens very soon. Just joking, by the way. I know I don't have the talent. But you never know. I may be just doing that pretty soon. So guys, that's all we have for you today on the core um, for that topic. I hope you definitely had fun how you have been inspired one way or the other right now i'll be i'll be kicking myself off not we will be i'll be kicking myself off the set right now but remember you can also log on to our website to watch this particular interview and more interviews we have there it's www.deliverylife.com and also follow us on our social media platform at official delivery life on instagram at delivery life on facebook and twitter follow me up on instagram and uh, facebook at ifebalugu and on twitter at ifebalugu11 so till another time where we bring the core to your faces you all have a fantastic fabulous year. remember remain positive in everything that comes your way bye for now this is the car